A lot of you guys has been asking about my opinion of the DJI goggles so in today's video I'm gonna give you a review what I think about the DJI goggles so the following two questions I will try to help you decide about in today's video one are they worth buying and two if you buy them and have a small drone will you ever bring them with you now that's the questions everybody wants to answer too. Before going into the questions, let me tell you about what I compared the DJI goggles with. I have been flying FPV before with my Phantom 3 Professional, with my HDMI board on the RC and the Headplay HD goggles. There will always be a conflict between having portability and cool gear. Ever since I got the DJI Mavic Pro, I never used my Headplay HD anymore since I immediately stopped using my Phantom 3 Professional. But that does not bring away the fact that flying FPV gives you a pretty cool experience and it also brings you a great deal of confidence. When you only look at your phone or tablet screen, especially in bright daylight, you sometimes do not see all the details in the video details that can be a twig or something else that can make your drone crash but with the goggles you see everything and this increases your confidence level of flying and you will be able to get more advanced shots and better quality for your videos therefore my conclusion about the concept of fpv is that it's not only fun uh, it can actually improve your videos quite a lot depending on what kind of shots you are going for all right back to the dji goggles the listing price on amazon is 449 dollars which is a lot of money if you also want to buy a drone and that makes the goggles kind of a luxury product there has been talk about other applications like watching videos from your computer or playing games now I have tried using the DJI goggles and watched HBO with the Game of Thrones from my computer and it was pretty cool but after about one hour they started feeling heavy on my forehead and they get kind of warm especially indoors when you have no wind. Having that said the ventilation in the DJI goggles is way better than in the Headplay HD for sure. So it's a very cool experience but maybe not so comfortable one. Also, let's talk about the stealth capabilities here. Now, what am I talking about? When I got the DJI Mavic Pro, I got used to working in the shadows. I mean, the Mavic is grey, it is silent, it is small. The RC does not show as much as the big white RC in the Phantom series. And this I got used to and that made me feel uncomfortable mounting these big ass goggles on my forehead feeling like the entire world can see that hey that's the guy he's the one flying the drone yeah and let's face it you do not look very cool in these goggles um, so if you can't live with that you can kind of forget about buying them so how does the goggles work uh, the pairing was quite simple and i never had any connection issues with the goggles when i started them they always connected to my drone the navigation controls on the side with swipe gestures, the touchpad, it took some time getting used to. Uh, the built-in features that they have with the head tracking where you can control the gimbal. Uh, that is cool if you want a friend to try the goggles and look around. But for shooting a video I found it quite useless. Because as soon as you move your head you... Uh, you don't get a smooth shot anymore you get uh, a lot of shaky motions and some twitchy motions and that doesn't work then there is another aspect with using fpv goggles and uh, that is that if you just move your head a little bit when, while you're watching the screen it's very easy to feel nausea 
I was actually in a car with my friends. I didn't drive the car and use the goggles, obviously. But my friends, uh, my friend was driving the car. I had the goggles on and it took only like a few seconds and I had a mega nausea. I was so, I was feeling sick like instantly. So it's impossible to use in the car pretty much. And then there is the question about portability. If I buy them, will I bring them with me? Well, this depends on what uh, you're used to bringing with you. But they can be uh, disassembled. This two-part solution makes them easier to bring with you for sure. So how much have I used them? Well, I always bring them with me when I have the car. But that's because I have a backpack filled with gear for vlogging. If your main purpose was shooting drone footage only and not vlogging, it would have been more easy to uh, bring the goggles more often because your backpack wouldn't probably have been filled up already. Back to the questions for today's video. Do I bring them? Actually, most of the times, no. But always when I can, I do bring them. And the second question, should you buy them? I would say yes. If you have the money, of course. FPV is really something that everybody should try at some point. And if you don't like it, you can always sell them again and hopefully not lose that much of money. Okay, so those were my thoughts on the DJI goggles. Uh, hit me up with questions down below and I will try to respond. Also, if you like this channel and want to see more stuff that I do, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we are so close to 100,000. Oh, sorry, did I say 100? Oh, I meant a few thousand. The correct number is a few thousand. Okay, not 100,000. That's it for today. See you around.